Dope Pair is back with another unboxing for you guys. Uh, before we get into that, as usual, if this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and turn on those notifications so you know we are dropping some kind of content. Whether you like it or not, still good content. So today, we have a shoe that dropped, and I want to say last week. Uh, I was a little under weather, like I said, so I couldn't get to this. So we're going to go ahead and put this out for you guys. And there you go. The Yeezy 700 V2. As we said earlier, I've kind of changed my feelings on the Yeezys. I mean, I really like a lot of the colorways in the 350s. 700s colorway, eh, but it is a very comfortable shoe. And I guess they call this the dad shoe, the dad Yeezy. So uh, again, Yeezy Boost 700 V2. Uh, ten and a half, which I found for Yeezys, the three fifties I go down a size, but the seven hundreds I have to go true to size. So ten and a half colorway is cream, 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 triple cream. So let's get into it. I uh, hope you guys didn't miss out on the restock on the uh, UNC Jordan ones. That raffle is over, and out of how many raffles we go for? I say between my family, we probably had 16 to 18 raffles, and I only hit one extra pair. So, Oh, I saw in the news today that Nike is pulling their shoes from big box stores, and they're only selling it at certain stores. Dick Sports was one of the ones they mentioned, but they're not going to be at other, because they feel like that's the best way for them to be able to make money off of their shoes. So I'm not sure if they're going to be at, uh, like, they didn't mention Foot Lockers and Champs and all that. They mentioned by name Dick Sports. But they're taking it but they're taking away it, from oh, Dick Sports? No, Dick Sports is going to be... One of the re one of the retailers, but they're taking it out of retail stores. But their 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 shoes aren't very um, they're not hype at all. I would say. I mean, they have. They just said I mean, that's the best way for them to make money is they're mo they're pulling the shoes actually, out of their retail store actually, out of retailers. It will not. It ain't gonna stop a dang thing that's going on because I mean we all know the botters and, and people all that. It's not gonna stop anything. Okay, so I know why this is called a dad shoe. Yeah, but it's, I mean, I like it. Go ahead, and let them see it. Mm. There you have it, the uh, Yeezy Seven Hundred V Two. Cream, cream, cream is the colorway. And actually, I am liking that colorway. is pretty fresh, in my opinion. Uh, I will say our, our camera setup is a little different than usual. I got a new camera here, and we're trying to get that situated, so just bear with us. We're trying to give you some more, uh, some better quality on these videos. But we have that 700 bottom, which is black with, uh, I don't think that's quite sale. It may be sale hits everywhere. It's cream. Cream, 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 cream. We go to the side sole, and you got that cream rubber that is... Notorious with the 700 that wraps around the heel and the inside sole of the shoe. And if we go to the toe box, we have that nice suede tip right there, which is in, you guessed it, cream as well. Uh, we have the gray laces. Is that gray? It's like, yeah, that's gray. And I think this is actually a dark gray on the sole. Is it? Oh, you might be right. I can't see. That is a dark gray on the sole. I am sorry. With your Adidas logo right there on the bottom of the heel. Uh, you also have some other hits of gray here inside panel. A reflective gray. Yeah, reflective gray stripes right here. Um, there's your inside sole with the Yeezy. Like I said, if you've seen one 700 and look like with the 350s, you've seen one. You basically know the make of the shoe. It's just the colorways make the shoe different. I think that can you see a little bit of the reflection right there. You can catch that. That's pretty cool in my opinion. Like I said, uh, this is only my second pair of 700s. I'm a huge fan of 350s here lately. 700s are very comfortable, though. I will give them that. What, what do you think about these, Mama? I don't particularly care for them. <laughs> just the look? Yeah. It I mean, just it it's like an old 
It's tennis well, shoe. I'm, I'm not young anymore, so uh, I've kind of grown to like those quite a bit. Jaden, what do you think? Dad shoe. Well, like definitely. I, that's why they call I it. I see this shoe on someone who has a walker with tennis balls on it. Like, that's <laughs> what I see. Man, they're putting me in the grave already. Uh, and if, oh, is there little speckles on there? Laces? What's that little hits of white or cream in those laces? It's kind of hard to see. But uh, again, it's retailed for, and I want to say 220 if I'm not mistaken. You see that reflection there. If I'm not mistaken, I said in, uh, not the last video, maybe a couple of videos ago, I can't hit a darn thing here lately on the foot sights, hibbits, any of that. But on Adidas Confirmed, I think I've almost hit every pair of Yeezy that drops. I have no problem getting them off confirmed. So maybe Nike and these other places could take a uh, a page out of their playbook. So whatever. And just give them to you? Not just to me. <laughs> I mean, but like I said, that, that gets into a whole other thing of being able to get shoes. And you got some reflection there on the back, as you can see right there, <coughs> here, and here. I don't think this is a bad shoe at all. I will say it's... Uh, I don't want to call it basic. It's not as flashy as what you guys are probably used to me showing, but it, it's simple. Just like this one. Simple. I mean, I popped some orange lace in there to give it a little pizzazz, but a very comfortable, decent shoe, in my opinion. So, since Mama doesn't like it, I'm already guessing what kind of number you're going to give it, but let's hear it anyway. Six. Six. Jaden? Same. Six for Jaden. I'm going to go a seven and a half. And that's colorway and comfortability is a huge, huge thing for me because, I, like I said, I have flat feet anyway, and these are very comfortable. You sound like an old man. <laughs> I mean, I'm not young. <laughs> they are comfortable. And I'll remember, to me, I think you have to go true to size on these. That's my opinion. That's how it fits my foot. It might be different for everyone else. Um, and this little, what's the, we call that little stretchy mesh right here on the tongue. Mm -hmm. Like a stretch, stretchy mesh on the tongue behind the reflection. Patches. Like I said, not a bad shoe, but I wanted to let you guys check it out. So all you older, more distinguished gentlemen out there, this shoe is for you. And that's why I have a pair. Distinguished, huh? Distinguished. Mm. <coughs> they also have the Jordan 5. I think the Stealth is coming out here shortly. Uh, I know Hibbit's already had a raffle. I didn't even try. I personally thought that shoe was kind of ugly myself. I don't know if you've seen it. Probably not. But uh wasn't the greatest looking shoe. And I know we got some other joints dropping here shortly. So, uh, again, 700 V2 Dad Shoe. 220 Yeezy. And if you dig it and you old and you use a walker with tennis balls on it, buy it. Sounds like a lot of hate to me. <laughs> Again, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. When we get to that 1K, I will be giving away a pair of UNC Jordan 1s. So until then, catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.